This is a lecture by Farol Kalemi, narrated by Ungad Buttar. Time to the event. A method that can allow us to examine rare events directly is through examination of time to the event. If we assume that an event has a Bernoulli distribution, i.e. the event either happens or does not happen, it has a constant probability of occurrence and the probability of the event does not depend on prior occurrences of the event, close parentheses. Then, number of conse consecutive occurrences of the event as a geometric distribution. In a geometric distribution, probability of a rare event, P, is related to the average number of trials to or time to the event. This table shows how this relationship can be explored to calculate rare probabilities. The expert is asked to provide the dates for the last few times the event has occurred in the last year or decade. The average time to reoccurrence as calculated in the formula is used to estimate the probability of the event. For example, Suppose we want to know what is the probability of a terrorist attack in a city. To calculate this probability, we need only to record the dates of the last attacks in the city and average time between the attacks. This average time between the reoccurrence of the event can be used to estimate the probability of another attack. For, for another example, Suppose we do not know the frequency of medication errors in our hospital. Furthermore, suppose that last year there were six reports of medication errors. We can calculate the time between consecutive medication errors. The average time between errors is 72 days. Therefore, the daily probability of medication error is 1%, thankfully a small probability. Exercises Estimate the daily probability of a school shooting from the following recent cases. Assess daily probability of medication errors in the first and second six months. Assess the time between non-injury accidents by interviewing a peer student. We have proposed new ways of estimating probability of rare events to you. But how would you know if these estimates are any good? In general, accuracy or probabilistic forecasts are verified by calibration. In numerous occasions in which the same probability is forecasted, the frequency of occurrence of the event is compared to the estimated probability. For example, suppose a weather forecaster predicts that there is an 80% chance of rain. If it rains tomorrow, is this a reasonable forecast? If it does not rain, is a forecast erroneous? Neither of these questions can be answered. In most situations, a single event cannot tell us much about the frequency of that event. The accuracy of the forecast can only be established if in a large number of days, say 100 days, in which the weather forecast has predicted 80% chance of rain, it does not indeed rain for 80 days. Only then can we claim that the weather forecaster is well calibrated and accurate. Obviously, the requirement to observe a large number of similar forecasts makes it difficult to verify calibration of forecast of rare events. There are not enough such forecasts or observation of the event to compare the two. So how could one assess the reasonableness of probability estimates of rare events? In the case of rare events, it may be possible to assess accuracy of the probability of the rare event with a single observation to the contrary. If a rare event occurs more frequently, we may need to have to revise our assessment of it. 
If an event is expected to occur once in every 100,000 occasions, then observing the occurrence of the event after 25 occasions will signal a problem with the estimate. For example, in 1991, Cook reported that administrators of NASA had predicted the probability of shuttle failure at one in every 100,000 occasions. Coal glazier and weather wax have predicted such failure at one in every 35 flights. When the Challenger space shuttle failed after only 25 flights, it showed that NASA administrators were wrong in assuming shuttle failures would be very rare. Since there are no practical ways of observing very low probability events, it is difficult to evaluate the accuracy of our estimates. Obviously, it is possible that a contrary event, for example, accidents occurring with more frequency than expected, will point out the inaccuracies in our estimation procedure. But in the absence of these contrary events, it is difficult to validate the probabilistic risk analysis findings. To improve confidence in the assessment, any or all of the following additional steps can be taken. First, can you check the assumptions of the model? For example, in fault tree, often a series of events are linked to each other. One could check that this is a reasonable link by examining the conditional independence among these serially linked events. In a non-cyclical path, if A is shown to affect B and B is shown to affect C, then C should be independent of A given a specific value for B. Conditional independence can be checked by examining partial correlation between A and C. By querying the expert or by examining causal graphs drawn by experts. Second, you can also check the accuracy of some of the parameters of the model. While it is not easy to measure the catastrophic event, it is possible that the desirable to observe the probability of various events used in the model. If these estimates are accurate, we have more confidence in the resulting prediction of the model. The take-home lesson for this first lecture is that it is possible to quantify probability of rare events. Describe three methods for assessing probability of rare events. Please use the course website to ask a question and rate this lecture.